Okay, hello everybody, and thank you very much, Steve Skidmore. So today's book is Killer Custard. Now, this is one of my absolute favourite books because it's one of those books where you get to decide what happens next. And that's brilliant because you can read the book more than once and you always get a different outcome. And that leads me into your first task, everybody. What you're going to do today is you're going to write two completely different endings to this story. Now, I'm going to be super helpful and give you the introduction to both of your endings. So here's the start of your first piece of writing. Carefully, you move towards the kitchen. Standing at the door, you hear the sound of bubbling. Suddenly, the whistle sounds again. Now, what we're going to write about in this ending is walking to investigate what the whistling noise is. Now, you need to have a think about it and you can get really creative with this one. Is it a person? Is it a machine? Or is it the custard bubbling and lurking in the corner waiting to get you? And here's the start to your second ending. You race away, but the custard follows you, moving at incredible speed. Help! And that's where I want you to imagine yourself running away from the custard as fast as you can towards the head teacher's office, because that's where you're going to find something to help you defeat the killer custard. It might be a super sucking custard hoover, or it might be the head teacher's stinky school slippers that you're going to use to beat the custard back with. Now, we've already seen Steve's ending where he got well and truly custarded by Killer Custard. So we want to do something slightly different. So this is where you're going to get creative. So all you're going to need for this, guys, is some writing paper and a pen or a pencil. Now, I'm looking for two completely different endings and I want you to get as creative as you possibly can. Now, we need to remember some of those super writing skills that we've learnt over the years. And my favourite is adding adjectives. So, if you burst into the head teacher's office to find a hoover, is it just a hoover or is it a super sucking hoover? Did you just pick up his slipper or did you pick up his rancid stinking slipper? Okay, all those adjectives, those describing words that build up that picture in your head and make things a lot more interesting. Also, if you were running down the corridor, corridor, were you just running or were you quickly running down the corridor? If you went round the corner, did you just go round the corner or did you slowly creep round the corner? All these things are going to make your writing much more interesting. Now, don't forget some of our key rules. I want to see beautiful handwriting. Don't forget those finger spaces and check your spellings as well, guys. So we've heard Steve talk about Killer Custard and we've now got our starters for our two completely different endings. Don't forget, you can go back in this video and pause it to see those sentence starters again. Now, the important bit, guys, enjoy writing your story. Be creative and make it as exciting as you can. Now, don't forget to share it with somebody in your house. If you can excite them with your story, then you've done a really good job. Have fun with your writing, guys.